So I've been getting questions this week and just wrapped up a call with my team and we were talking about why can't we specifically say that if we invest X into our business, we're automatically going to get Y? Like, what is it about running a business that's so challenging that we can't really predict what our business is going to do uh, month over month uh, based on input? And the short answer is we can in some ways once we have a recurring revenue system and we can predict what kind of business should be coming in every single month um, and that is a big part of what we do with our clients is develop a strategic category of one growth system that's designed to produce six plus figure revenue every single month but I happen to look at business very, very differently and different than a lot of people, right? And a lot of business consultants. Why? Because while we need sales to grow our business, if we don't get sales, we don't grow our business, period. And we don't have a business. Um, and that's very important. I don't believe that we can actually achieve those linear growth uh, milestones without seeing our business from the intangible or the more abstract perspective. So let me explain what I mean. So most people, when they when you talk to a business analyst, you look at growth as in, here are financial milestones that we're gonna hit this month, and how do we hit the next one, and how do we hit the next one? And we, you, when you look at those numbers, you think of a business more like a chart or a graph. You think of it very analytically, more linear, right? But what I found, um, at having a high growth business myself and going through this experience and, you know, similarly with the clients that we work with is that they don't, the, we, I don't recognize growth unless I really approach my business as an art, as an opportunity for, to be creative and to, sculpt it and architect it the way that I want it to be. I see it as a beautiful art form. It's something that's constantly moving. It's abstract. It changes all the time. Um, and the, the, the level of success that I'm able to achieve, and I've quite frankly seen with our clients who have achieved really high levels of success, is directly related to their, number one, their clarity and where they're going to guide the decisions that they make on a daily basis. Number two, their aptitude or tolerance for failure or pain. And I feel like that the term failure is very much overused because I think that we really set you know, our vision up for success for ourselves. So failure is really something that we just it's a perception. It's like, okay, I wanted to hit this goal and I didn't, so I failed. But truly, life brings, you know, adversity and we have to be able to adapt and change and to change our strategic approach, but with the goal in mind, with clarity around where we're going and our vision. So when someone asks me, if you want to work with me and you ask me, Kaylee, if you, if we we invest in doing business with you, then what is the direct output that we're going to get? My answer to that is that what are your, your goals? The output that you're going to get is how willing you are to continue to work to achieve that goal without quitting and without changing course. So if you're willing to develop sure in the foundation of your system and design a, a you know, a clear vision for where you're going and then we can put goals in place and then we reverse engineer the goals to design strategies to help us achieve a growth system. But it doesn't just happen. It's not an input X, output Y. It just doesn't happen like that. And I think that, you know, there's not enough people talking about the, the nuances around businesses really having to adjust and adapt to things that are unexpected. Um, and, you know, as evidenced by a pandemic hitting and half the people don't know what to freaking do. Um, if it was that simple and if it was an input X, output Y, we would all have the formula and we would all have amazing successful businesses. So 
anyway, I just wanted to kind of address that. I just hope that, you know, if, if, especially if you have a young business and you're feeling like you're not quite getting to where you want to be quick enough, that there isn't really a specific timeline where you should hit X number at a certain amount of time, right? It's, there are a lot of variables in the business. But the one thing that's going to get you the closest to achieving your goals the quickest is your willingness to put in work, your willingness to be adaptable, and your willingness to try things and then, you know, pivot and adjust the things that don't work and to double down on the things that do. And it's that simple. So, um, Anyway, I just hopefully gives you a little bit of perspective from, you know, how we operate. Um, and, you know, I think the, the, the mindset work and the support that we can give to help you navigate the decisions, to um, evaluate what's working and not working, and to really become a partner with you through the process of your growth, that's where the magic is, not in giving you something that you can go find on YouTube. You know, so uh, anyway, everyone have a great week. I'm off to Hawaii tomorrow. So ooh, aloha.